Polly the pelican lives in fluffy gardens. Polly lives here at Three Sea Breeze Lane, to be precise. Like most pelicans, Polly has a big beak. Polly keeps food in it for when she gets very hungry. Sometimes she stores a fish sandwich so she can have lunch outside. That way, she can play all day without having to go home for lunch. Polly loves to play. Her favorite game is hide and seek. She knows all the best hiding places and can stay very quiet. Can you see where Polly is hiding? It's not easy, is it? She is so very good at hide and seek. Our story begins by a bush, an ordinary bush with little red berries. We Reg the puppy walked up and down. He was looking for something. Or rather, he was looking for someone. He had already found Mr. Johnson the panda, and he had found the small green thing. But he just couldn't find Polly the pelican. They were playing hide and seek. We Reg suddenly thought, Maybe Polly is behind this tree. He peeked behind the tree. But Polly wasn't behind the tree. Then he thought, Maybe Polly is in this long grass. He peered into the long grass. But Polly wasn't in the long grass. We Reg wondered, if Polly isn't behind the tree and isn't in the long grass, where could she be? That's when he noticed the bush. He ran behind the little bush and looked. Polly! He shouted gleefully. I found you! Polly the pelican laughed as she came out from behind the bush. She loved playing hide and seek and is so very good at it. And she loved playing with her friends. So much so that she wanted to give Wee Reg a big hug. But then she felt a little silly. After all, Wee Reg might not want a hug. He might get embarrassed. In fact, she wanted to hug Mr. Johnson too. And the small green thing. But she didn't. Polly blushed a little as she hid her feelings deep inside. As she waved goodbye to everyone, she thought to herself, They probably know how much I like playing with them anyway. The next day was another lovely day. Polly the pelican stepped out of her house in Seabreeze Lane and smiled. It would be a lovely day for a game of hide-and-seek, she said. So Polly walked all the way to Wag Villa, which was where Wee Reg lived. She knocked upon the door. No answer. So she knocked again. Still no answer. So she walked next door to Peapod House. That's where the small green thing lives. She knocked on the door. No answer there either. That's strange, thought Polly and she went to visit Mr. Johnson in Bamboo Grove. She walked up his garden path, taking care not to trample on Mr. Johnson's flowers, and knocked on the door. It opened! Mr. Johnson stood at the door with a smile. Would you like to play hide-and-seek? asked Polly the pelican. Oh, I'm sorry, said Mr. Johnson. We're busy right now. Polly could see that inside, we Reg and the small green thing were doing something. Oh, that's okay, said Polly, and walked away slowly. Polly thought back to the day before. She had hidden her feelings deep inside. She was so very good at hiding things. But now, maybe they didn't know how much she liked playing with them. So maybe they thought she didn't like them at all. Poor Polly began to feel a little sad. But then she had an idea. It was a very good idea. 
and she got quite excited. She ran home to Sea Breeze Lane and gathered up some crayons, some sparkly glitter, and a piece of card. She drew a very pretty picture, and then she glued some sparkly glitter onto it. Whatever it was that Polly was making, it was very beautiful. Now I'll deliver it to my friends, said Polly with a smile. But already standing outside her house was Mr. Johnson, Lee Reg, and the small green thing. I thought you were busy, said Polly. We were, said Mr. Johnson. We were busy making something for you. He was holding something behind his back. He pulled it out. It was a card. A beautiful, sparkly card. We made you a card to show you how much we love you, said Mr. Johnson with a smile. So did I, said Polly, and pulled out the card she had made for them. They all laughed together. Both of the cards read, Friends Forever. Polly was glad that this time she hadn't hidden anything especially how she felt about her best friends. She suddenly felt very happy and wanted to give them all big hugs. So, she did.